about the culture, places to see, and activities to join Honduras. Culture. According to Culture of the World's Honduras, Honduras is a combination of Latino and indigenous traditions. Dancing is a vital part of Honduras, and two of the most popular types of dances are punta and croquet. Punta is dance generated by Garifunas, and Garifunas are Africans living in the northern coast of Honduras. It's drums, so drum is the most essential and most important instrument used, and it's a male versus female type of dance. The apparel is traditionally tropical clothes with costumes and like a lot of shells. And the other type of uh, folklore dance is folklore. It's an indigenous type of dance. It's an intense competition, and what I mean by this is that people actually pursue this as their career, and they dance, and it's really, the competitions are really intense. The dances are different depending on the department you're in, and their apparel are girls with braids, and their dresses are really colorful and bright. Another aspect of their culture is the craft. You can buy, like the tourists usually buy hardcover boxes, which this one varies in the city, and the most famous city is Calva de Angeles, which is a city located in the capital of Honduras. The other type of uh, craft is indigenous pottery. This is done by the Lencas, and the Lencas are the largest indigenous group in Honduras. And it's a black and white design, it's made by hand, and it's really unique. The culture of Honduras is really important, so now let's see the places you must see. Roatan is the most popular place in Honduras for those looking for a perfect tropical vacation. It has year-round tropical weather, and according to Verbo, a traveling website, names Roatan as the hot spot to live and retire. Two important things in, in Roatan are the water. The water is crystal clear tropical, and their sand is really white and puffy, so when you actually get in the water, you can see your feet and the marine life, and it's located in the Caribbean. Uh, something else important is their coral reefs, and Roatan has the second largest coral reefs. Uh, Australia has the first one. It's a federally protected site, and you, it's an underwater beauty. Another place you want to see is Copan. Copan is an Asian Mayan city. The Mayans were the most dominant indigenous society in this area. It's the important urban center in the Mayan civilization. It was densely populated and it was ex completely explored until the 19th century. Something else cool that you can do in Copan is the Lenca Trail. The Lenca Trail is one of the best kept secrets in Honduras. Not many people know about it. It's 76 miles and contains charming villages. And in this village, you see the Lenca people. And they, the party I showed you before, you can see them working on it and they explain to you the all the stuff that the symbols it has. Something else you can see is the churches and other Spanish establishments in the 1600s. Now, after seeing these magical places, it's time to take a dip in the water or ride in the woods. Snorkeling. According to Royal Caribbean, it claims this as the one thing you don't want to miss. You get to explore the exotic world. You get to swim with the dolphins. It's the best thing to do on an island, and you can see the marine life or the coral reefs. Something else you can see are the shipwrecks. Some of the shipwrecks there tell you, the people who are touring you, they tell you the history about it. Some stories relate to pirates. The most famous wreck is called the Odyssey. It's 300 feet, and some of the wrecks are intentionally put in there, or some actually did happen. Something else you can do is zip lining. Zip lining is a new exciting way to tour. You get to see the rainforest and jungles. Some of those places contain 15 zip lines and 16 platforms, so you're jumping from platform to platform. And where you go is Guamba Limba Park, Sip and Dip Canopy Tour. This one is 1.8 miles long. And to go to these places, you take a 14-passenger minivan trip. And you, that's where you meet your tour and you receive your training. So now that you've experienced the adrenaline rush that Honduras provides to you, let's close it up. Today I talked to you about the culture, places to see, and activities to do in Honduras. It's a country you love. I hope that in the near future you consider Honduras as a destination for your next vacation. Thank you.